alternate interpretation of the song Johnny Boy, which makes it sound like a Christian song. Opinion Johnny Boy can also be interpreted as a message from Jesus to his followers who have been either been left behind or deceived in life, telling his followers to gather their strength and get back up again to face their problems, just like how Tyler Joseph's father got fired from his job due to the Great Recession, which just makes it even more important for one to face their problems and taking the problem head to toe and hand to hand and facing it rather than just giving up and instead, not doing anything about it and just ignoring it which could, in turn, lead to even more and more problems in life. This can directly be connected to the chorus of the song, where we can interpret the chorus as Jesus referring to us as Johnny and telling us to get up because we've been let down, deceived, left behind and that we're also his his pride and joy, which is something we all expect to hear from our parents. They need us to grow up and be successful in life and make our lives better and take care of them in their elderly days which is implied in the last verse of the chorus, we all need you now. This analogy gives a good indication that Jesus sees us as his own children and sons. The chorus in this song can also be related to a verse from the Holy Bible, Proverbs 24 verse 16, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. It clearly points out that the Bible does not promise a trouble-free existence to the servants of the Lord which is why you have to face these challenges that life throws at you and overcome such inconveniences in life because otherwise, you'll be left behind and just be stuck forever at one point in your life and never be able to catch up to others after it's too late, which is why the chorus goes get up, Johnny boy, get up, Johnny boy. Get up, cause the world has left you lying on the ground. You're my pride and joy, you're my pride and joy. Get up, Johnny boy, because we all need you now. We all need you now. I will carry all your names, and I will carry all your shame. That line seems biblical to me. In Exodus, Aaron wears priestly robes with the names of the sons of Israel carved into stones on his shoulders and some kind of headpiece that symbolically carries people's sins. He's carrying names and chains. Get up, Johnny boy. Get up, Johnny boy. Get up, cause the world has left you lying on the ground You're my pride and joy, you're my pride and joy Get up, shiny boy, because we all need you now